In order to have a lead acid battery um, in both flooded cell and AGM batteries, or both lead acid batteries, there's really three things that you have to have. Uh, the first would be two dissimilar materials, that would be the positive and the negative plates. The second would be the electrolyte, which is a mixture of sulfuric acid and water. And then the third thing that you need is a separator that sits between the positive and the negative plate, preventing the two from touching or preventing a short from occurring. For years, the standard battery has been a flooded lead acid battery. So most batteries are still in the trucking industry flooded lead acid batteries. A flooded lead acid battery must be mounted in the upright position or the electrolyte could spill. One of the things about an AGM uh, that gives it a big benefit over a flooded cell is that the electrolyte is actually trapped inside the separators which are absorbent glass mats. The glass mats actually hold the electrolyte in place so there actually is no free electrolyte in the battery. Some of the other benefits of AGM batteries is you also have batteries that tend to cycle uh, better. Uh, as well as are more vibration resistant. One of the things that we want to do when we work with a fleet is determine what the best battery is for their particular application. And on the surface it may seem like the most, uh, the best battery is going to be the least expensive one to purchase. And um, the problem with that is really what we're trying to find out is what's going to give you the best value over the period of time that you're going to be having the truck. In some cases um, that may actually be a situation where the more expensive AGM may actually be the battery that you need depending upon that application. 